Oh, hi guys. Welcome to another episode of the Rusty Beauties Restorations. And I'm looking at those Rostyle hubcaps that came originally on, uh, I believe, 68 TR250 N5 and 1969 TR6. That was the only year that used those hubcaps and they are pretty rare now to find. You can find some in this shape on eBay and other places, but a set of four in a good shape, it's pretty hard to find. So why am I looking at this? Because I have a friend, hi Don. <laughs> so um, he has a 1969 TR6, which he bought, but it was modified. The previous owner didn't care much about originality. So they added oil cooler, the spoiler, at the bottom of the front valance, many things. They made the car to their, to their own taste, let's say. However, Don is a really heavy purist. Probably most of you know that 69 is a little bit different than the, the rest of the years. Of course, over the years, many things were added on TR6. So from year to year, there are little changes, but between 69 and 70, there was lots of changes, a lot. I don't even know them. I'm not a purist, so I don't care much about those. But Don took his time and he did a lot of research and he knows exactly what came with his car out of the factory. And he started slowly, slowly bringing it back to this original spec. So whatever parts were changed, he took them off, put the original parts and the parts that he took off came to me. He just donated them to me. So thank you, Don. Monza exhaust, alloy valve cover, multiple, I don't know why multiple, brand new reservoirs and pumps for the windshield washer fluid. Um, lots of parts, lots, including even his brand new soft top. So the car came with a new soft top, but it had or it didn't have, now I don't remember if the 69 came with or without ref reflective tape. The thing is, his top was brand new, but he decided to take it off. Actually, I took it off at a parking lot in the British car day. <laughs> I took it out and I kept it for my TR6 and he put another new top on his car that matches the one that came out of the factory. So anyways, he's a pure, pure purist <laughs> and his car is now probably 95% original and he keeps changing parts, but one of them is those Rostyle hubcaps. So he found the set and at British Car Day he showed them to me and he asked me if I can do something to make them look better because they have lots of dents and stuff. And I looked at them and I was like, mm, well, you know what? This is impossible. <laughs> it's, there's so many dents and they're so twisted and stuff that it's impossible. So yeah, I love it. <laughs> so long story short, they're here on the bench uh, let me show you what they look like and what I got myself into. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So first look from a distance. So as you can see here, I believe they have to be black here, these triangular parts because as far as I can see here, they were black, but uh, I don't know if somebody cleaned those or what happened, I don't know. So just so you know, he's gonna re-chrome them at some point. I have to deal with the dents. I don't care much about scratches as long as it is nice and smooth everywhere. So that's what they look like. The one part that's unfortunate is this crack here. So this is actually a crack. And I'm not sure if I can weld that. I mean, I don't know what they are made of. I tried with the magnet and it catches it, but not much. And this is a pretty strong magnet. If Look, I can almost lift this pulley and it's pretty heavy but here it barely catches. So I don't know if I can weld that, but we will see first what we can do about the dents. And if we can do a good job, then we can think also about this crack and maybe some of you will have an idea how to fix that crack, whether we can weld it or not. 
But anyways, as you can see here, some of them have a little bit of dents. Some of them have lots of dents, especially here. This in this area, you see, it is pretty bad. So let me put you on the tripod and I'll show you more. So I have a few ideas about how to fix the dents. My first idea for easy to access parts, like for example, for this surface here, I can do it on an English wheel. In the past, I had pretty good success flattening surfaces that were dented with a flat wheel on the bottom. The top is always flat, but if we put flat wheel at the bottom too, and without much pressure, so we don't stretch the material, we just make them barely touch, with enough wheeling, the dents disappear. Because what happens with dents, they're not just metal that is bent, but the metal also stretches. So it needs to shrink. You can't just hammer it back in and expect to get rid of the dent. You actually need to shrink the material. And that's what the English wheel does. With enough passes, if there's not too much pressure to stretch the material, it actually shrinks it. My English wheel is huge, but I bought another English wheel. <laughs> Not only for this job, I always wanted to buy a smaller English wheel, but this was the reason why I decided to buy it now. So we're gonna pull it out of the box later when we need it. So that's what I think. With the small English wheel, we can fix this surface and maybe this one here. Here we can't fit an English wheel and here, but I'm thinking if I take two bearings, I have here uh, some bearings from, a, from roller skates, so if we take two bearings and somehow we modify a clamp like this to fit here, we might be able to put one bearing on this side and one bearing on this side and do the same job. And maybe even here. So these four surfaces, somehow, I think we have an idea how to fix. Maybe I'm underestimating the complexity of the job. Complexity? Is that the, a word? Anyway, but I'm thinking that with these four surfaces, we're gonna be pretty much fine. This end here, I guess we just need to make a dolly that is curved a little bit and just use it maybe even on the press somehow, I don't know. The complicated part is here because one of them, for example, yeah, this one. You see, this one has lots of dents here, 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 but if you look at the back, we have this plate, that's what actually holds it to the wheel. And this plate is held here with those five fake lug nuts. And they are like a rivet. This part has been flared, so they're permanent. And I'm thinking if we grind this away and then use something like that, a bolt like that, that we can thread inside and put them back in. Maybe that's what we're gonna do because I need to get rid of that. I need to take this plate out. Also, on one of them actually already came out. Here, you see, it is already out. And this one spins freely here, you see. I hope we have enough meat here to make threads inside and then we're gonna have to make our own boats with flathead like that. This way we're gonna have access to, uh, to the back here because all these dents, we need somehow to fix them. Also these little flanges here, you see, some of them are really bent. This one, you see, this needs to be fixed somehow. It is gonna be a lot of work but it is what it is, we're gonna have to make it work. Okay, enough talking, let's get crackalacking now. So first of all, let's open our new English wheel <laughs> and see if it is gonna work for us. Let's start with the easiest part. Okay, so scrap that, <laughs> this is not gonna work. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that these wheels were a little bit smaller. They're actually too big. And even for here. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work with the original wheels. So yeah, that's gonna require a lot of modification. 
let's try manually what we can do with dollies and slappers and stuff like that. And slowly, slowly, we're gonna develop the techniques. Okay. All right, so it's a few hours later and I think I have one ready, believe it or not. <laughs> so I decided to stop with the experimenting on camera because most of the things that I try don't work, like the English weave over there. And I think I found the best technique, which is your left hand and your right hand. Everything needs to be manual. So as you can see here, I have multiple hammers, dollies. I bent this thing here that I use as a dolly. I'll show you later. Anyway, so this one, I think is as best as I can do it. I mean, there's still marks here and there, but can do better than that. Not only the scratch marks, these are, I'm not worried about. I think these can be sanded and um, chromed, like re-chromed. Rusty is hungry. Stop. <laughs> anyway, so this is the one that had dents on these spokes, should I, should I call them or whatever they are. And I think I managed to pull them out pretty good. So there was one here, then there was one here. And on one there was, was it here? Wow. Yeah, here. There was a dent here that I managed to pull out. I'll see if I can pull out the footage from before to see the difference. But yeah, other than that, I think it worked pr pretty well. Here inside in the corner, there are some dents that I couldn't pull out that uh, maybe I'm gonna come back to and figure out a way to fix them. But yeah, I think this one worked great. And how did I put a dolly here? Well, I removed the plate. That was the plate that went in the back. And how did I remove it? Well, <laughs> I ground these. This shoulder is pretty small but it is long enough to hold this and the plate so this came out let me take them and i'll show you the back so this is what it looks like in the back when you remove the plate i had to clean it with the uh, scotch bright so i don't embed the dirt in as i'm hammering but some of these were distorted, this one was distorted. I managed to straighten it. One of them has a crack, this one has a crack. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. This was pretty distorted, the opening for the valve stem. That straightened pretty well. So yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna leave this one for now. And if I discover a better technique for getting rid of those hammer marks now these bother me now, when i look at this and i see all that and i'm like okay <laughs> whatever we see here is nothing compared to this but i still wanted it to be perfect you know so we will see maybe i'm gonna come back and try later but now i want to deal with the next one and i'm gonna show you now let's start doing one together
Okay, so you see my improvised end view here that helps me for this um, rim at the end. It came out pretty well. I think with a little bit of sanding now, it's gonna smoothen pretty well and then it can be re-chromed and it's gonna look kind of okay, I think. Here though, the scratches are pretty deep. So we have missing material. We, we can't do much about that. But I still have some dents. So you can see in the back, all these, they are dense on this side. So what I'm trying to do now is to push this material back out. So even though I'm hammering on this side, I'm expecting that these are gonna get pushed by the anvil up because I'm hammering on the highest spots here and the highest spot on this side are gonna get pushed up. That's my idea. So it's not gonna be perfect, but it can still be better than what it is right now. Yeah, it's getting better. It's becoming smoother and smoother on this side. So in this area, I have to do more, which is here, okay. Yeah, it's getting really good. Okay, so I'm gonna continue here for a while and I'll bring you back. Oh, there's one more here. This one doesn't have many dents underneath, so we will try to straighten this as well. So, yeah, so I'm gonna deal with this outer rim and I'm gonna bring you back. Okay. I know it doesn't look great, but a lot of it is actually the reflection. I don't know how to set the light, but before this was totally flat. Now, if you look at it this way, here the shape is back to where it should be. But just because it is uh, scratched and dull, you can't really tell, but it is much better than before. So anyway, I think the whole rim is now done we might need to come back i keep seeing other things when i keep working around here this is pretty much okay as well what i'm trying to work on is the shape i know that the finish is never gonna be as it was anyway so i think next we should deal with this surface now you see how there's dents here there's this line here and there's few more of these little dents here, but uh, the problem is when you try to save this, for example, and this, it turns into a bigger problem. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so there's two here around the, around the hole for the valve. Okay, let's deal with that. So first of all, we're gonna clean it in the back to make sure that there's nothing there that we embed into the thing as we're hammering and it makes it easier to see the dent on this side as well. So let's clamp it in my special vise that I made. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. There you go. Okay, don't be shy, come closer. So I figured most of the work I do with this dolly that has all the shapes that I need, I think. So now we're gonna use this flat part. We're gonna put it under and with the curve towards here so we don't make scratches because if we put it this way, this corner and this corner might, might make scratches here. This way, they're gonna be farther. So there's this one which is pretty tight in the corner, but you see, I'm trying to do most of the hammering from this side on some areas like here it was not possible but wherever I can I try to do the hammering on the back and it turns out this material is pretty hard actually so it takes a lot of beating
That actually worked pretty well, I think. Okay, let's see what we're doing. So this is this one here. I can still feel it as an even part, but it's not a dent, it's a hump. And most of that can't really come back because it's probably stretched. But let's see if I can do some hammering on this side to try and shrink it, but it doesn't work all the time. And that actually worked pretty well. Let's try this one as from this side directly without flipping it around. Unfortunately though we can't avoid the hammer mark so that's something that I'm hoping that with a little bit of sanding before the rechroming they're gonna come out like they're not dense or whatever but it is they are visible i'm hoping that they are in the chrome though okay shape wise it's good uh, let's do this line here now where did it go here so this one is much bigger so let's see what we can do about that I'm afraid I made another one next to it with the edge of the hammer. As I was hammering with this corner, I think I made another one here. So now we have to deal with two. <laughs> okay, this is where the line was. Actually, the line now is pretty good. Needs a little bit more. Okay, so it's not great. You can see where the line was right here. So I can't do better than that. I can even feel it a little bit. But wow, look at this. Oh my God. Anyways, I think that's where we're gonna leave it for now. I'm dressing up my slapper with these two because it was pretty dented and it was creating dents here and there. So I'm dressing it up again, you see here, and my hammers as well. They need to be dressed up a little bit every once in a while because otherwise they start creating marks here. Anyways, I think next we should start dealing with this surface now. These lines, I don't know how these happened here around this opening again right here oh my god that's so bad wow look at this okay we'll start with this one okay for this rim i think this is the hardest one because like i can't put my fingers behind my dolly so i have to hold the dolly like this and it is hard i want to be able to support it underneath but i can't so this is the hardest part I think and these dents are pretty deep on this rim so let's clean it up first again we need to make sure that there's nothing here that we embed inside the metal with the hammer okay let's see so now the dolly I'm gonna use this part right here it's curved a little bit so we're gonna put it underneath here and that's gonna take a while to pull out but again the dolly is what's pushing this up. We are hammering on top with the slapper. We are actually able to hit around the dent and the dolly underneath is pushing the dent up. Okay, it's coming up.
now as this dent went down that pushed a little bit of the metal out here you see so we have to press this down so I'm going to put the dolly this way now with the flat part here and we're going to try to hammer this in a little bit okay that looks good so let's continue taking this out So now the shape is there, but there's still, you can feel the crease. So now there's going to be a lot, a lot of hammering here just to try to make it smooth again. That's it. But shape wise, it came up. So I'm not going to hold you here for all that. Like you see how many more there are here. So I'm going to go after this, this one here in the corner and all that inside and here. So yeah, I'm not going to hold you for all of them. I'm going to do them by myself later because I already showed you how I'm dealing with those. Let's do something else that, for example, this one. Here we're gonna use something straight like that as a dolly. I'm just gonna dress it up a little and we're gonna use it like that and we're gonna go on top. Here I'm gonna have to go with the hammer so you see it here Coming out. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see what else we can do here. Oh, you know what? Let's work on this opening. So, so this part here, from here to here, is the part that is good compared to this. So we're gonna have to push this one out. So now here it is wavy, so let's fix that. Okay, that looks pretty good. There's a little crack here that unfortunately we can't do anything about. It is what it is. There's more repairs like that here, but I'm gonna do them on my own. Let's see if there's anything else that we haven't done together. Maybe we should do this one together. Okay, let's do this one together. So for this, I take this hammer and I put it like this, and then we can gently tap this in. Okay, I think that's good. All right, I'll do the rest. So I'm not gonna hold you here. I'm gonna show you the final result. I have to do these ones here, a lot of dents here, another big one here. Well, that's gonna be a tricky one. This is a big one. Um, yeah, 
let me do those and I'll bring you back. Okay, um, I think that's the best we can do about it. So we went all over the place and got rid of the dents that were in this area. And on this area, there was some, I don't know where, I think here, yeah. There was something here, tried to go th get rid of it. So in general, it becomes straight, but because it is so shiny, every little imperfection shows, you know? Now this here, for example, I can't even feel with my finger, but it shows as a dent. So unfortunately, things like that, we can't fix perfectly. In some area where it was really bad, um, you can, from a lot of hammering, you can still see the hammer marks, but it is what it is. Hopefully that can go away with uh, the re-chroming. But shape-wise, I think it's perfect. There's something here I can fix a little bit. Maybe at the end I'm gonna go through all of them one more time and I'm gonna look for more imperfections that I can fix, but you know what? If I have to look for them, then they're not too big. What is this here now? You see, I can see it on the camera, but I can't feel it. Like there's nothing. Whatever. That's how far I can go. If it if it looks on camera that it is perfect, well it's not. <laughs> There are, there are damages that can't be fixed, but if it looks like it is horrible, it's not horrible either. It is acceptable, I would say. I think with rechroming, it's gonna become great. And now, I think I will try to deal with this one, where we have this big smashed part here. I wanna see if I can deal with that. Of course, the crack, I can't do anything about, but at least, I want to see if I'm going to be able to make this look better. So, this is the before, and I'll show you the after. All right, guys, I knew it was going to be a lot of work. I didn't expect that there was going to be so much to be shown in video. I thought it was going to be mostly hammerings but it turns out so many different techniques and stuff anyway so i'm gonna split it in two videos i'm actually almost done with them but i'm gonna show you the rest of the work in a second part of this video in which we're gonna deal with this big dent that is so badly smashed and i'm just gonna show you a quick pick that's what it turned out like so i'm gonna show you how i did that i'm also gonna show you how i installed back the fake lug nuts with the plates in the back. Just a quick peek now. So stay tuned for part two. So that's gonna be it for today. I'm not gonna hold you here anymore. Thank you for watching and commenting, subscribing, sharing, supporting me financially or by sending me parts and tools like Don, for example, who gave me parts, who gave me parts that are probably worth a couple of thousand dollars. So thank you, Don, it's appreciated. I hope you're gonna be happy with these when I'm done with them. Anyway, enough rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.